If you're looking for a beginner's guide to Google Chrome and your web browser, well, good news, you're in exactly the right place. Hi there, you're watching Guys Guides, where I try to provide simple guides to technology and the digital world to help you with your online adventure. In this video, we're going to focus on the beginner's basics of Google Chrome, your web browser, which is the most important tool on your computer these days. If you don't know about Google Chrome or don't have it on your computer yet, jump back to the previous video where we show you exactly how to download and install Google Chrome onto your computer. So anyway, Google Chrome is the most popular web browser and the icon looks like this. Let's open Google Chrome so that we can explore some of those basics. I look for the same icon and it's down here at the bottom. I click on it to open a new window. The first thing that I see is this search bar up at the top. This is where I can search for whatever I'm looking for, whether it's the exact address of a website that I already know, a person's name that I'm looking for more information about, a question that I want an answer to, or whatever you want to search the web for. Let's start off by going to BBC News. I can type in BBC News up here and Google will make suggestions depending on the websites that you've already visited or things that Google believes you may be interested in based on your previous searches. So here they're already suggesting BBC News and I can just click on enter to accept that suggestion. If there's another suggestion, all I need to do is scroll over it with my mouse and then click on the result. This will take me through to the website and I can now happily read or watch whatever is on the website. I want to keep BBC News open all day whilst I also visit other websites so that I have the news right at my fingertips. I can use the tab system in Google Chrome to keep websites open whilst visiting others. I click on the plus button up here to open a new tab where I can search for another website. So let's go to Web of the Week. Google suggests Web of the Week, so I hit enter to visit Web of the Week. I can enjoy these uplifting articles on Web of the Week and some interesting tips about the internet, whilst also being able to come back to BBC News to view the current news all day. You can open as many tabs as you want on Google Chrome, but my suggestion is to keep it to a maximum of 10, as more will ask your computer for too much energy in order to keep the pages open and it may therefore slow down your experience on the web. But I can open more by clicking on the plus button here, searching for whatever I want, what is YouTube for example, hitting enter, and I can keep multiple websites open. I can close tabs that I'm not using anymore by clicking on the cross up here, or if I have another website that I'd like to go to, I just click in the search bar and type in my search request. Now let's come back to Web of the Week where we were visiting the five top podcast recommendations. I want to come back to Web of the Week homepage, which I was on before. So I can use the navigation buttons up here to come back to the previous page that I was on. When I click on that, it comes back to the homepage where I can now visit another article which I'm interested in. And finally, on BBC News, I now want to see the most up-to-date news so that I know what's going on in the world. But because I opened this page earlier this morning, the news may not be up-to-date on the page. I can now use the refresh button to ask my web browser to show me the latest version of the page that I'm on. And if the news had changed since the last time I was looking at this page, it would then display the new version of the web page. The refresh button is really useful and I consider it like our magic wand because it allows us to not only refresh the content and ask our web browser to show us the latest version of a web page, but I also think that it's the best thing to do whenever you face an issue in your web browser. So whether it's that the web page doesn't look like what you were expecting or that something is not working on the website when you're clicking and navigating around. First of all, try refreshing the page to see whether that solves the issue, as 90% of the time, it really does. There are many more features to discover on Google Chrome, but let's keep it simple and short for today so that we can focus on those basics. 
Remember, the search bar is where you search for whatever you want on the internet and you can type in literally whatever you're looking for, whether it's a question, the name of a person, a building, a country. Use the tabs system to keep different websites open at the same time. Use the back button to move around the web pages that you have visited on a particular tab. So you can move back to the previous page that you were looking at. And finally, the refresh button is useful to not only show you the latest version of a page so that you get the latest news or the latest articles on Web of the Week, but we can also consider it like our magic wand as it often solves a lot of problems on the web. Thanks so much for watching. And if you're hungry for more and want to discover more about the wonderful features on Google Chrome, check out our next video where we'll go into some other top tips.